somehow you will get to meet people and want to relate with people and have a connection with them. Maybe as friends, in a relationship, a romantic relationship, or whatsoever kind of relationship it is. Have you ever had a reason to question yourself if someone is really godly as you think they are? You may have come across people, meet people in church and in spaces who call themselves Christians and act godly. Somehow you might come to a point of questioning their actions to who they really are in the core of their being. So what does a godly woman or man really look like? Because we have godly men or people we think in quote are godly men or women, guys or ladies or boys or girls. But yet at the core of their being, when you get to really see who they are, when nobody is looking, when you get to hear some things, you are like, are they really godly? So what is godliness? Godliness is to have a Godward attitude, which is to have an attitude that is reflective of who God is. You have an attitude that you are willing to do what is well-pleasing to God. In this video, there are three things I want you to consider when you want to analyze who a godly person look like. Number one, acting or being religious does not make you godly. You know, we have a lot of people who act religious. They are associated to church. They have titles. They are serving in church. And then we have such people and we feel like since these people are closer to the church, they should know God better. But the truth is being in church does not make you godly either. People go to church for different reasons. When you have the perception that everybody in the church should be godly because they are serving or doing whatsoever, you might get yourself deceived. And then there are a lot of people who act religious and act like they are perfect. They walk perfect and do everything perfect, but yet their lifestyle does not look like God. And most times people have problem with the church and with God because of the people who portray God or who represent God, who come off as if they are being godly. And through this, other people who should come in to knowing God feel like, no, no, if that's how God is, I don't want that kind of God. So people get deceived easily when they mistake godly people to be religious people. Because they talk about God, mention God in all of their conversations and everything they want to do. They want to quote a Bible verse. You should know that the devil quoted Bible, scripture, when he was tempting the Lord Jesus. The devil knows God and even trembles. He does not submit to God. So you should not be deceived when you see people who are eloquent in speaking the word or preaching the word. Or doing the godly acts. Because godly people go to church. Doesn't mean everybody that goes to church are godly. Because we have a lot of religious people who look nothing like God. You see such people as hypocrites. Just like the Pharisees whom Jesus would always indict. Woe unto you Pharisees. So Jesus was always after these people because they are pretenders, they are hypocrites. And then you should be careful because someone can be religious and then it's just a pretense to godliness. It is not because they are godly. Like scripture says, having a form of godliness, but lacking the power therein. They may pretend to have a respect for God, but in reality, they want nothing to do with God's power. Stay away from people like this. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like this. Number two, gifts are not proof of character. Fruits are Charisma is not character. Let me explain. Jesus did not say by their gifts you shall know them. But he said by their fruits you shall know them. You only know a tree by its fruit. You know a mango tree, an orange tree, an apple tree by its fruit. Not by its gifts. How beautiful the tree looks. Does not make you know what tree it is. It is the fruit that makes you know what tree is this. So that is to say that people in church who operate in the gift of the Spirit, they have the Holy Spirit, they operate in the gift of the Spirit. But does this really make them godly? Because for us to do true evangelism, it is our life, it is our words, it is how we portray ourselves to people, not in pretense, but in reality. So you must see people that prophesy, they walk miracles, they pray for the sick and the sick get healed. They speak in tongues and they pray a lot. Does this make these people godly? Somehow we could be deceived. Yes, they look like they are godly men. But what does Jesus say to this? He said, on that day, you said to me, Lord, Lord, I prophesied in your name. I prayed for the sick. I did this and that in your name. 
And I will say to you, no, I do not know you. Because God is more concerned about your fruits than the gifts that he has given to you. Because the fruits that you bear is what represents him. He is honored when you bear fruits. What is more pleasing to God is you bearing the fruit of the Spirit than just operating in the gift of the Spirit. The gift of the Spirit have a purpose, which is to edify the church, to edify the body of Christ, to build people up, to encourage people. But then the fruit is for you as a person, as an individual, to be pleasing to God. That is what you should hold on to in your vertical relationship with your Father in heaven. It is good for you to know this so that you will not be deceived by people who use their charisma, the gifts that God has given them to lure and deceive others. And the Bible talks about them in 2 Timothy chapter 3. At the end time, there are people who will be lovers of themselves, lovers of pleasure than God and all of this evil and they will lure a lot of people. So as a child of God, what does a godly man or woman look like? But the fruits produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions. Joy that overflows, peace that subdues, patience that endures, kindness in action, a life full of virtue, faith that prevails, gentleness of heart, and strength of spirit, which is self-control. So it is the fruit of the spirit that speaks to your character, that speaks to you being godly or not. And when you consider the people you choose to make relationship with or connect with or have friendship with, you should not just consider the gifts that they have, how fluently they can speak, how eloquent they can preach or whatsoever thing they can do that is kind of really attractive to you. The charisma is good, but then you need the character to know who you're dealing with. Number three, Modesty is not equal to godliness. But now you should know that good morals could make someone modest or dress modestly. And the truth is, whether you're a man or a woman, the way you dress speaks to how people view you, how people see you. But when it comes to you as a Christian, people can use this and really deceive. Like the Bible talks about wolves in sheep's clothing. So they can dress and pattern themselves in ways that may look like they are something that they are not. Even if someone dresses and covers up everywhere, that doesn't mean they may not still be loose. That doesn't mean they may not still be doing things or have character issues that are so far away from God that neglect what God's virtue speaks about. In as much as modesty is a fruit of godliness, but someone being modest does not automatically make them godly. But if you are godly, you'll be modest in your appearance. You be modest in your way of presenting yourself as a woman or as a man. You be careful of how you appear before people because how you appear before people gives an image of who you are supposed to be. But then on your part as a Christian, whatever someone decides to appear as, that shouldn't sway you because they could dress their part, act the part like they are godly and do every other thing, walk the path, talk the part. Oh, I just heard from God. God just spoke to me. Oh, like God just told me something. I just got a revelation. Oh no. Yeah, you could be like, this people are so close to God. They're so godly. But don't be deceived, please. Because modesty is not equal to godliness. Modesty, whether in attitude form or in dressing, it's not equal to godliness. Godliness is actually you portraying the fruit of God's spirit in truth and genuineness, not in pretense to try to catch people. Because there are many unsaved people who have good morals, they dress well, they dress modest, they act modest, and they still treat people right. So you as a Christian should not be deceived. When you see some Christians, in quote, who call themselves godly, and they try to act modest, but then their heart is far away from God. Because you should be careful about that. Let the fruit of the Spirit in someone be the proof of their godly life. Because as people who are godly, we know that heaven is where we are looking forward to here on earth, we are to live holy lives. We are to live godly lives. We are to portray God to our society. That's the best form of the evangelism we can ever do. To evangelize with our lives, wherever we find ourselves. Because we were to be witnesses, not to just do witnessing, which is go to preach to people, but your life is far away from God. That is why the scripture says, let God transform you from the inside out because this is your reasonable service. This is what is pleasing to God. I hope these few points and this video has been beneficial to you. Thank you so much. 
for watching up to this point. I am Uwem Akman. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video to other people who may need to see it. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Become a part of this community and keep track with all of the contents that will come your way. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.